It's what's on the inside that counts. Gourmet burger joints are popping up all over Texas, and burgers are this grilling season's hottest celebrity. Russell Woodard joins us now with tips to master the art of stuffed burgers, and it smells absolutely delightful, I have to admit. Well, I want to get everybody in the mood for burgers this weekend. That's okay, what we're so, talking about. so let's so we're doing do it. a stuffed jalapeno burger today with a little blue cheese. Mm -hmm. There's a hundred different ways to make a burger, but I want to show you a, a kind of a fun way to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we, we, we're going to use a little chili powder okay. and ground meat. Uh, you could use your favorite seasoning, but we're just going to put it in here. I'm sure everybody does that. We're going to mix that seasoning right in so that we get that uh, Now that's just chili going. powder. Just you can regular, do anything. You can do anything you okay. like. And then we're going to take this, then once we've got that all mixed in, we're going to take a little bit. And depending on your size, you know, one of the tips I like to do is, you know, everybody's had that experience where they made a patty, and then when they got done grilling it, it was about half the size they thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, make that patty maybe a little bit bigger than okay. the bun. And uh, so, so to stuff it, you can use one of the little machines. But I like to just take a little ball, put a little hole in it with my fingers like this. And then today, we're going to use a little blue cheese. Okay. We're just going to take a little sprinkle and put that right in the middle. And then the other thing we're going to do, once we get it to all stay in there, we're going to add some jalapenos to it as well. Now, I noticed earlier you removed all the seeds from the jalapenos. I did. Does that mean you don't like it very no, hot? No, I like it nice and warm, but, uh, you know, for those that don't, you can okay. use a little green pepper maybe or something. And we're just going to close that up and make us a ball out of it. Okay. And then we're going to flatten it out and take it to our grill. Now, we want our grill to be about 400 degrees or okay. so, 450 degrees, nice medium-high heat. We're going to flatten that out. And we're going to take it right to the grill. And then you can also, I mean, this is a great thing, you know, everybody does burgers out there. But you can also do some grilled vegetables. Right. You can grill your, um, your, onions. your onions. Maybe do a little, I like to add a little bacon mm -hmm. or a little grilled avocado maybe. I don't know if you can get it to stay on there. <laughs> we're going to take it, put it right on the grill uh, to keep How your grill from. How difficult is that to well, keep the cheese inside? Not, not at all, actually. I mean, it works very well. I mean, I didn't overwork that, so you mm -hmm. don't want to uh, pat it down and work it too much. Let it go about uh, four or five minutes aside and uh, until it's 160 degrees. Best way to know that it's 160 degrees is to use your little instant read meat thermometer. I had one here somewhere. And use that into the side of the burger to make sure you got it done. So we want them to be well done. And then uh, once they're done, you're going to take that and just build your burger. So we're going to take our patty that we've already got going here. Okay. We're going to put it on a toasted bun. We're going to add our grilled onions or tomato to it that we've got. Yeah. And these are our grilled jalapeno burgers. Um, grilled jalapeno cheeseburgers. <laughs> there we go. And uh, you can find that recipe as well as many others on our website at txb.org. And you can always also find that on our website, kfdm.com. Yeah. As always, thank you so thank much. You. And we'll be digging in. We will. Beef, shortly. it's what's for dinner, right? Absolutely. All right, thank you.